couple right now. Par four, Fred Couples for his birdie. And Fred is really rolling the ball well as it finishes right where he wanted it. Well, Couples gets that final rotation of the golf ball, and that falls in. That moves Fred to double down. So it might look difficult, Lanny, but it really should not be that tough a shot. He can bounce it up. Yeah, the lob is not even in play really for this shot. He gets it over very easily, and he was just trying to find the line. So uh, just a wayward tee shot, but still a wide open second. Should be able to get it on the green or very close around the surface. Actually was a little bit of a double cross, and that'll end up in the left-hand rough. He doesn't like it. We go to nine. Seven. Tough shot for Fred Couples. Downhill lie out of the rough. This is third at the par five. Won't get any spin on it. So yesterday he was in the hole in three shots here into the first cut of rough there to go through. Down the hill a little bit quick. It's a beautiful shot, one of the best of the day right there. Wow, we got a moment. Let's go down to David Moore. Saw that beautiful shot that Fred Couples hit here on the par three. This is for a two, a birdie, to get within one. Never a doubt. Beautiful stroke. That was like early in the week, and you said the same thing. You said his back's been good, but the neck's been just not major bad, but just enough that he's aware of it. I would think he'd love this whole location. Just set it a little left to the flag, hit, hit a nice little high cut in there. Sort of like that beautiful shot. Here by Fred, you know, he's played two magnificent irons right in a row and pretty simple putt here. Not much in this, just maybe left edge. Inside the left edge, Fred, just like I was saying. <laughs> the couples will make his par at the ninth. A little bit of a downhill lie in the fairway, but shouldn't be much of an issue. He is looking well left as usual. Hoping for a little more of a ricochet to the left, but not a bad spot. Couldn't see the loft on that club, but probably was about a six iron for Fred. Up to 14. Play it. It looks a little thin right there, so the green is obviously helping him. So this should come out rolling okay. Got the flag stick out of the hole. That's a good sign, confidence wise. See how it rolls. Pretty smooth. Played too much break. Just <laughs> what we've seen all day, Mark. <laughs> I'd say that 20 times in this telecast today, and he makes that signal like I can't believe I overread it again. Pretty good four. Just a par four for Fred, really, today. He is now a Fred Couples getting ready for his second shot. Got a great look at it. The location right there where that lava is. Back of the green. See the flag. Just fluttering slightly. You take dead aim. Don't be too far. Hey, take a try. Take a little off of a shot and just carried it a little bit through the green, but fine. It's all right. Here it is. Fred Couples will have a birdie. Just for a share of the lead. No problem. I think you're right, Lanny. His putting is so underrated. He makes so many more putts than you think he would. With his length and everything, the putter really comes in handy. 
A little jog for Hale is for a couple steps to the tee at the 12th. Eight iron, he's got to hit this pretty solid. Stay on the back edge. Oh, and he hammered it right over the flag. Wow. Freddie swinging well, hitting the ball extremely solid. Back to 12. Fred Couples, in the back part of the green at 12. Yeah, you hit it right over the flag, just one club too many, or that one was too hard. Just trying to get the pace correct. Got it down there a couple of feet, not bad. So we'll have that left for his par to stay at 13 under. Couples for his par. He stays at 13 under and a share of the lead. Back on the tee at the 12th. Get a look at Steve the Fitness Center loosening up before his round to 13. And those are really soft spikes. Those are just about no spikes, just little nubs for Fred. Well, let's watch his right foot here. It's a great time to do it. Well, Freddy, pretty much in your kiss right that's where his leg drive starts, right there. Fred's really well balanced and really under control and no slippage whatsoever. That's for sure. That one is hoisting way right up in the air and it's a beauty. Started at just left of the flag, stayed right there. Good chance for another three. And that would give him the outright lead temporarily. Straight putt from here. This for the outright lead. Boy, he tried to get it to fall just a little bit right. Wouldn't do it. So a shot wasted there for Fred Couples after a beautiful second. For Rocco to 14. And Fred Couples on the tee yesterday pulled his tee shot, bounced it off the lava. Doesn't like that one today. And this one not as fortunate. I think that uh, he's going with that hybrid. May catch a bit of a jumper out of here, but. I agree with you. I think he's going to have to play a really good fourth. It's going to be a working man's five to make par here. And you're exactly. We are back to the par five, fourteenth. Fred Couples, his fourth shot. to dial this in, get it close. And that is not very good at all. You go back to 14. And this is Fred Couples. This is a par putt on his par five. One that he could easily have reached in two had he hit a good tee shot. Save. You never know. That could make the big difference in this golf tournament. Making something like that, keeping the momentum going. It's good to see Fred against the Fred Couples on the team. Got a bunker down the right hand side. Not a factor for Fred Couples. He can carry that bunker. So that makes this a very wide fairway indeed. I think probably the two worst drives he hit today were at seven and 14, the two par fives. Yeah, which took him right out of play, making birdie or eagle. He's tugged that one well to the left, over by the out of bounds. That is, that's some 30 yards left of the fairway. That's the biggest miss I've seen Fred have all week. Well, and uh, anyway, he's he's still got a good look here. The flag's in the left side of the green. He'd you know like to correct those misses. So try and get this in just right of the hole. Give himself about 15 footer, looking from the right of the hole coming in. trying to do it didn't quite release as much as he thought from the rough. Fred's been rolling the ball extremely well. 
a great par save, par 5, 14th. Speaking of cool, here he is. This will have a left to right ball flight. Yeah, this should be a hole he could, he should get comfortable after the last few four tee shots. Mark wide open down here, so really a place he can let it go. Which